Hi everyone! Welcome to the world of electronics. So for today, I will be discussing to you these following four topics which focuses on its application, its history, how it works, and of course the basic components and its functions. So there is one reporter among us, and basically that's me, John Andrea Hermoso at your service. So, shall we now start? What is really ECE? So when you hear the word electronics, what comes into your mind first? Computers, cell phones, TV, CCTVs, radios, Wi-Fi, telecommunications, etc. So if you think any of this, then your answer is correct. These examples are part of the electronics field, but of course, this does not only limit to this because electronics engineering as a course is so broad. For starters, what is ECE and what is its importance to society? By definition, electronics and communications engineering is a branch of engineering that focuses more on the creation, development, research, and handling of computer devices that deals with electronic communication. So, ginan-utilize niya ang math and sciences na subject para makaproduce og modern devices na atong ginagamit karon sa present time, such as cell phones, TVs, radios, kana. Technologies such as this are growing at a fa very fast rate in the world, and it is important for the technology enthusiasts to pace up with the latest changes in the society. Wala man takabantay, pero ang mga electronic devices karon has become an important part of our day-to-day -day lives. Aminon, aminon man ato or dili, it has become difficult for us to do work without using the electronic devices. Because we now live in a generation that uses electronics and technologies where robots and artificial intelligence are capable of doing human work with more ease and efficiency. And there are also machines that made through electronics. And sa mga nakakita sa three idiots kung nakakita mo, unsa ganito ang giingon ni Rancho or Rancho Batos about sa machines? Di ba ang iyang answer ato kay? A machine is anything that, redu that reduces human effort. And of course, reduces time. So mauna siya nga nagpamatuod nga high-tech na takarong panahon na. So to answer the question ganina, Electronics, by definition, is the branch of physics and technology that deals with circuits, transistors, microchip, and the behavior and movement of electrons. It handles electric circuits containing active and passive elements and uses underlying techniques. These are the applications of electronics. Application meaning kung asa siya pwede magamit or pwede may utilize. So, pwede siya, ano yung sa mga under nga category like consumer electronics. These are the electric devices meant for everyday use like sa mga uh, calculators, printers, fax machines, projector. Muna siya in terms of office gadgets. Refrigerators, air conditions, washing machine, vacuum cleaners, microwave oven, or oven pa. In terms po na siya sa home appliances. Then, kaning under sa industrial electronics, focus it focuses on making real-time automation like motion control, motor drive control, machine learnings, robotics, and mechatronics, and uban pa. So, under any smart grid, smart grid systems, it is the application of artificial intelligence, computing, and network electric system. And most common example ani ni iya kay ang smart meter, if nakabalo mo. Then, under any Industrial automation and motor mo, motion control. Ah, industrial automation and motion control. Kung ang industrial electronics ganit kay broad siya nga area, kani siya kay mas ga focus siya more sa human automation. If nakita if nakakita pud mo atong unsa to katong kay drama bitaw katong sa startup, katong gihimo nila Suzy na self-driving automation sa car, mao to siya ang pinaka the best example ani niya. 
Then next is the uh, image processing. Mauning mga 2D patterns nga naay mga na 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 tay mga algorithm karon nga na develop to extract on 3D and at uh, mga 3D to 5D. Mao na na siya. So under pud aning sa medical applications, it is the advanced medical instruments for healing purposes like sa mga ECGs, X-rays, CT scans, mao na siya. Then proceed pud ta karon sa daily use of electronic devices like kanin mga mobile phones, iPads and tablets where it is the only thing by which ang transfer sa data from a server to computers and from computers to servers are possible. Then kanin sa digital sound or music, di ba sa una traditional music man atong ginagamit like mga cassette tapes. Karon karon ang atong ginagamit kay mga MP3 na, MP4, iPod so. Kasi uh, so muto then digital camera is mga gadgets na equipped na karon sa camera like ang atong mga Android phones na naman tayo mga camera so nga po iuban kuan ka ng mga ballpen nga na yung mga camera hidden camera, mga inana so part yapon siya sa electronics then lastly is ang atong food industry where ang mga modern machines kay ga produce og food in high quantity or quality So, sa makita di ba ninyo, di ba broad gate kayo ang atong electronics? Kanang ambi ninyo ga focus-focus ra sa mga gadgets, mga wifi, mga inana or mga robot-robot, but there is more to learn the eye. Madiskas lang ninyo puhon pod sa mga later years ninyo. At least karon na namoy idea sa inyong gisudlan na course. So anyway, next is the application of ECE or we call it the scope or the field sa mga ECE students once mo graduate and mupasar na sa ilang board exam and ma-license engineer na. In short, kung asa yun, possible mag-work ang mga ECE. Rehas na to. Kung saan tal talaga tayo nababagay, so maugid na. So, as an ECE, we should possibly work under tele telecommunications, companies and corporations, civil service and government, network and infrastructure companies, radio and television broadcasters and developers, Biomedical companies, electronic component manufacturers, electrical power utilities, pwede po sa research and educational centers. And some of this, kani sila, na sila mga subfields which are the signal processing, telecommunications engineering, control engineering, electromagnetics, instrumentation engineering, microelectronics, audio and visual, and light and electronic equipment, etc. Pero sa ako na balaan karon sa atong ECE nga under sa USTP kay more on sa telecommunications man adata telecommunications networking and sa microelectronics ang natay major ah, ang atong possible nga mapilian sa atong major hopefully na nay biomedical pun so kana And as I've said di ba nga since broad man kayo ang atong electronics, so once na natay license, daghan na ta malagputan na field. Kay daghan ta areas possible masudlan as long as na siya sa scope sa electronics industry. Actually, kana kung ipangingon are just examples and daghan pa jud kayo na as long as mag-research-research mo. So, mintras karon kay sayo pa man, first year pa man mo, pag huna, -huna na mo karon kung asa jud mo ga-exile para, gamay na lang dayon inyong problema hon po hon. Yes. Nga na yun. So to proceed with the next topic, I will be discussing to you about the history of electronics. Evolution of electronics is mainly through three key components. First is the vacuum tube, second is the transistor, and third is the integrated circuits or the IC. In 1883, Thomas Alva Edison discovered that electrons will flow from one metal conductor to another through a, a vacuum. Basically, this discovery of conduction became known as the Edison Effect. In 1904, John Fleming applied Edison Effect in inventing two-element electron, electron tube called the vacuum diode. And in 1906, following this, Lee J. Forrest developed a three-element tube called a vacuum triode. Kay kanisya nga mga vacuum tubes, kay mga devices na gihimo para sa manipulation of electrical energy 
so it could be amplified and transmitted. And because of this, this was the real beginning of the electronic. The first application of electron tubes were in radio communications. So in 1927, Guglielmo Marconi invented radio which was the primary form of education and entertainment. Actually, siya ang nag-pioneer sa development of the wireless telegraph in 1896 and long-distance radio communication in 1901. Early radio consisted of either radio telegraphy in which mauna siya itong ginatawag na transmission of Morse code signals or ang radio telephony or we call it the voice messages. Kaysa, un kaysa una man good, ang sinaunang radio transmitters, telephones, or even the telegraph kay gagamit og high voltage parts para makahimo siya og waves and sounds. So most likely, ang purpose gyud sa atong vacuum tubes is iyang ginastrengthen ang weak audio signals para maalaw ni niya ang kaning mga signals to be superimposed sa radio waves. Then sukad so, aning communication, technology was able to make huge advances. And radio as the primary form of education and entertainment in that time was then soon challenged by television, which was invented in the 1920s, but it didn't become widely available until 1947. And actually, during the 1927, naay mga existing engineers sa Bell Laboratories na introduce nila ang cathode ray picture tube and the color television. Pero maskin sila yung nag-introduce ani nila ay mas kagsila yung nag-introduce sa katong picture tube and color television, Vladimir Zorikin. Si Vladimir Zorikin, Japan, ang gi-consider nga the father of the television tungod sa iyang greater inventions na ginatawag na picture tube and iconoscope camera tube. And kani siya nga mga inventions is sa or during sa World War II. Then after sa war, electron tubes were used to develop the first computers But they were impractical because of the sizes of the electronic components. So there is a day on that in 1947, the transistor was invented by John Bardeen, Walter Bratton, and William Shockley in Bell Laboratories. This invention revolutionized electronics industry due to its features such as lightweight, low cost, less power, reliability, or so on. Which then, which reduces the size of electron electronic devices, and they receive and they receive a Nobel Prize for their creation. But do may raon na ka appreciate and na ka anticipate na ang ang kaning certain transistor na ilang gihimo is dako siya impact sa pag change the world in terms sa atong modern technology. And fun fact is another breakthrough happened in 1956 when Bell Laboratories invented thyristor also called as the silicon controlled rectifier the concept of the integrated circuit was proposed in 1952 by Geoffrey Drummer but it was Jack Kilby is the one who demonstrated the first IC mauni siya nga sa 18 sa 1958 Jack Kilby an, in, an engineer of Texas Instrument demonstrated the first IC and he noticed that large number of electronic components could be fabricated together on a single chip the eye and because of this the beginning of micro this is the beginning of the microelectronics revolution and in the year 2000 Jack Kilby won the Nobel Prize in Physics for the miniature electronic circuits so kaning picture nga inyong makita kay kan kay mauna siya ang first ever IC na na create Then, as the technology advanced, number of components fabricated on a single chip also increased. This advancement in chip fabrication is accordingly called as SSI, MSI, LSI, VLSI, ULSI, etc. This resulted the new era of computers, mobile phones, microprocessors, etc. And also, apil na pudara ang 4-bit microprocessor, which was developed by Intel in 1971. And this is the diagram or chart sa history gikan sa invention sa vacuum tubes kaning sa diag sa chart kay gikan ani siya sa 1990s to 1995. So how does electronics work? So we start with the principles of electronics. 
all electronic equipment works on a fundamental physics principle known as the Ohm's law, which states that a current contains a voltage directly proportional to the current and resistance encountered by the current in that circuit. So, mauna siya ang picture sa ang, uh, ang circuit diagram na represents sa Ohm's law, kanang picture sa inyong left. And, in, uh, so in other words, uh, ang, ang Ohm's law, uh, kung i-double nimo ang voltage across the circuit, then the current will also double. However, if the resistance is doubled, the current will fall by half. So, ang Ohm's law kay V is equals to IR, pero sa, sa kanang picture nga, kung ipakita kay current ang yung pangita na. So, muna siya nga, I is equals to V over R. Pair na V or voltage is expressed in volts, I in current, expressed in amps, and R as resistance, expressed in ohms. So, this is the Ohm's law triangle. I know nga ang uban sa inyo master na ani since I think gi discuss na ni sa inyo kuya Renzo gahapon sa circuits pero I'm discussing this for a review since dire gyud ta magsugod sa pinaka basic. So as in this picture we call it the Ohm's law triangle meaning if they are in line they are multiplied but if one is on top of the other then they should be divided. Like kani V V ang pinaka taas then ang ubos kay duha ay R so kung pakita ko ninyo ang voltage, then V is equals to I times R. Pero kung pangitaon ninyo yung resistance, then V over I, or V divided by I. So, kung pangitaon po ninyo ang I, so V over R, or voltage divided by resistance. This serves as your technique, kaning Ohm's law triangle, if makalimot din mo sa mga pagpagamit sa formula. So, mag-drawing na lang mo. then uh, definition of a circuit so a circuit is a closed loop through which electric charges charge uh, electric charge flows as a result of a driving voltage the current is the rate of flow measured as the amount of charge passing a given point in the circuit per unit time so the goal of a circuit is to do something useful with the flow of charge and all circuits include some sort of resistive elements that slows the slows the flow of charge. So, sa ato makita gani na di ba na katong sa on slow di ba na toy circuit diagram sa so, moto siya. Example. Ang napod ni. Ah. We so proceed ta sa circuit diagrams and elements. Ah, as an ECE student, we tend to usually sketch a circuit diagram. So, if we are given some combinations of voltage, uh, current, and resistance, and asked to solve for the unknown quantity, then to do so, we use a set of symbols to simplify the sketch, like in the first picture, for example. Then, these symbols are then connected with straight lines to create a circuit diagram, just like in the second picture. So, from left to right. Mana siya? ninyo. Okay, then we proceed to the types of circuit. Uh, uh, ang akong i-discuss first is ang series circuit. Uh, series circuit is made by connecting the end of device to the beginning of another. Uh, these are the three fundamental really uh, there are three fundamental relationships concerning resistance, current and voltage for all series circuits. And it is important that you learn these three fundamental laws for series circuits. So, sa resistances na connected in series, same mo na sila og effect as one large combined resistance. And since there is only one path for current flow in a series circuit, and each of the resistors is in line to act as an opposition to this current flow, so the total resistance of a series circuit is equal to the sum of all individual resistance in the series circuit. So, the total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3, and so on. Uh, so current, okay, since there is only one path for electron flow in a series circuit, the current is the same magnitude at any point in the circuit. So the total current in a series circuit is the same as the current through any resistance of the circuit. So I total or IT is equals to uh, I1 where I1 is equals to I2 and I2 is equals to I3 and so on. And before, before any current will flow, through a resistance, a potential difference, or voltage must be available. 
When resistors are connected in series, they must share the total voltage of the source. <coughs> so the total voltage in series circuit is equal to the sum of all individual voltage drops in the circuit. Diri mang good sa voltage kay ang current nga gapas through sa each resistor ga establish siya og potential difference across uh, sa each individual resistance. So, mauna siyang ginatawag na ito nga voltage drop. Kibali, the greater the value of resistance, the higher the voltage drop across that resistor. Busa, kailangan na ito gamitan o ohms law para ma-determine ito ang each voltage across sa kada resistor uh, or voltage drop. So, for example, kaning sa picture, ngunit siya example sa series circuit and naa siya mga given values, diba? So, kailangan na ito pangitaon ang RT, ang IP, o ang VT. So, R total is equals to, diba, R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, mga siya nga, 15 ohms plus 5 ohms plus 20 ohms is equals to 40 ohms. So, remember, RT is equals to 40 ohms. Then, next is we get the IP. Then, since, diba, kay, same naman ang current through any resistance, where ang resistance kay, total resistance na siya, and ang total, ang voltage man nga given kay 120 volts, so, atong buha toon, since I is equals to V over T man, so, 120 volts divided by 40 ohms, that, thus we get 3 amperes. So, IP is equals to 3 amperes. And lastly, to get the total voltage, ang buhatan na to is, ato i-determine ang voltage drop sa kada isa ka resistance. So, uh, itong buhatan, V is equals to I times R. So, I, where I is equals to 3 amperes, and ang R is kaning kaning sa tulo sa kada kada isa ani so v is equals to 3 amperes times 15 ohms it is equal to 45 volts kani siya and uh, v is equals to uh, 3 amperes times 5 ohms equals ang aware uh, ang equal niya kay kaning 15 volts and v is equals to 3 amperes times 20 ohms which is, mo equal siya sa 60 volts, then, sum of all individual voltage drops da yun, na kaning 45 plus 15 volts plus 60 volts is equals to 120 volts. So, kung itay sa to ni siya, makakuha siya og 120 volts. Ito mo na siya. Na, ambot lang. Kasabot ba mo? Basta ka na. Basta ko itutangin niya siya, parehas ani, then sakto na. So, kung ang inyong pagkuha sa total voltage sa series circuit, kaya dili, ma, dili mausa ka ni, then, ay sayop sa inyong equation. So, proceed ta sa parallel circuits. In parallel circuits, the same terminals of both devices are connected together. And same sa series circuit kaganina, kinaadya po siya three fundamental relationships concerning voltage, current, and resistance. Uh, in a parallel circuit, each node resistor acts as an independent branch circuit. And because of this, each branch sees the entire voltage of the supply. Same ani, kaning 120, mo supply siya sa 20 ohms, pwede siya sa 40 ohms, and pwede po siya sa 60 ohms. Dili siya parehas, same kagani na sa series circuit nga mag, maghatag siya o voltage drop. Kay, naka, since nakaparalel man siya, walay voltage drop na mahitabo. So, the total voltage of a parallel circuit has the same value as the voltage across across each branch, across the, sorry, so, since ang gingon ganina, wala siya voltage drop, wala yung mahati. Next is, uh, a parallel circuit has more than one path current flow. So, the number of current path is determined by the number of load resistors connected in parallel. So, the total current in a parallel circuit is the sum of the individual branch currents. And, whenever more resistances are connected in parallel, they have the effect of reducing the circuit of the overall circuit resistance. So, the total resistance of a parallel circuit or the to total net resistance of a parallel circuit is always less than any of the individual resistances values. So, same any. For example, since naman tayo uh, given values yapon, we will solve for the total resistance, total current, and the total voltage. So, first, kay First na lang, mas dali naman ang voltage kay since same value naman siya. So, the, the total voltage in each branch is 
120 voltage since wala man siya yung voltage drop. So, 120, nagyapon siya. And to solve for the kanang total current, ato na siyang i-add. So, ang mahitabo, di ba, kaganina sa series circuit, ang atong gitotal kaganina kay ang resistor, ang tanan resistor, ang resistor value, pero diri, ang atong i-add kay ang total current, which is ang 6A plus 3A plus 2A. Pero before that, kung saan na ito pagkuha sa total current. So, mo ito nga, magamit kaya kung taog, on slow, parehas ganina sa series circuit, sa katong sa voltage, ato siyang i-apply kaya pun. Same siya, pero ang atong pa-ondery kay ang current, which is I is equals to V over R. Sa kada isa, ka, kaning, sa, sa, kada isa ka branch. So, ang mahita bo, o para makuha itong 6A, I1 is equals to 120 volts, which is ang kani, divided by 20 ohms. So, we get 6 amperes. So, I2 is equals to 120 volts divided by 40 ohms. Then, we get 3 amperes. And lastly, I3 is equals to 120 volts divided by 60 ohms. Then, we get the 2A. So, overall, the total current na atong makuha, the 11 amperes or 11A. Lastly, to get the resistance value, we commonly determine it using the reciprocal, reciprocal equation using the I, uh, 1 over RT. So, same gapon siya sa series ganina, which is ang RT is equals to R1, pero atong kaon kay ang reciprocal niya. So, gamitan na to siya 1 over. So, ang buhat na to, 1 over RT or 1 over total resistance is equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So, basically, atong buhat na na, 1 over 120 ohms plus 1 over 40 ohms plus 1 over 60 ohms ang may tabo. So, kung i-add na ninyo, mauna siyang makukuha. Kamu lang ang bahala na. To proceed with the next type of circuit, which we call the open and closed circuit. An open circuit is one in which no current can flow because the loop is broken at some point. And a closed circuit is one in which the complete loop is formed and current can flow. So, the most basic example of this is kanang na i switch so kung closed ang switch or off ang switch open circuit na siya kay walay current na mo flow so dili mo close ang bulb parehas ani and if ang switch kay open or kung gi-on na to then musiga dayon ang bulb or musiga tong suga since nakapass through man siya so mo na siya ang closed circuit so kung off ang switch then open circuit so kung on ang switch closed circuit so the last type of circuit is what we call the short circuit. A short circuit is one in which the resistive elements are bypassed and the current flow is very high. These generally undesirable and devices called circuit breakers are installed in circuits to break or to force open the circuit and help current flow to protect against damage to the circuit and electrical appliances and to protect it against fires. So mawala siya kasi dara mga grabe mo init na mga devices, components or appliances and makatry gid mo ginani kung magamit na mo og breadboard and kung magamit mo og mo diretso mo sa source uh, inyong led kung magamit mo og led kasi inyo din i-connect diretso sa source na walay mga resistors capacitors or unsa na siya kanang mga transistors then makakos gid mo og short circuit kay wala may resistance or wala may voltage drop mahitabo mo diretso man siya then tungod, tungod man ana kusog kayo ang current flow or na excess excessive running sa current na mahitabo gikan sa inyong source paingon sa inyong LED So proceed ta sa elements of a circuit So na ay three main elements sa circuit ang conducting path which is parehas ani ang dagan ang voltage source which is ang kaning battery or ang current nga kuan nga produce siya og voltage source then ang load which is ang kaning light bulb mao ni siya so, mauni, kaning, kaning, kaning GIF kay gashaw siya sa giyong sa pagdagan, gikan sa source ang katong sa series circuit o ang parallel circuit. Then, tanawa ang difference sa ilang pagpaon sa suga or pagpaon sa light bulb. Diba ang series kay pagsapag sa wall, ang parallel kay duman siya. Tara. Pero dali na open man ang iyang ano ang iyang wiring. So, wala siya ni pass-through. Pero dali, sa first, kayo mo pass-through siya. Ang katu 
ako dahil nakay na open open circuit siya siguro na short circuit to um, uh, what's the difference between electricity and electronics or more commonly uh, we're gonna determine bit, uh, the difference between uh, uh, electrical versus electronics engineering so Electricity is all about making electromagnetic energy flow around a circuit so that it will drive something like an electric motor or a heating element or powering appliances. So, muna siya ang mga gadil na sa mga planta-planta like kanang mga sipalko, mga moresco, mga nana. Part under nana siya sa electrical. But, ang electronics is much more on a more subtle kind of electricity in which tiny electric currents and in theory, single electrons are carefully directed around much more complex circuits to process signals. So, mauna siya ang mga cute kayong ng mga, mga components. Parayasa ng sa cellphone, sa laptop, sa mga gadgets, like sa mga kanang digital watch, o mauna siya ang sa electronics. Then, we're gonna de also determine the difference between analog and digital electronics. So, analog circuits and digital circuits is a classic way of differentiating between two types of electronic circuits based on the signals based on the signals they process. To put it in simple words, analog circuits deals with continuous analog signals whereas digital circuits deals with discrete signals. An analog circuit is a type of electronic circuit which processes analog data using analog components like kanang mga resistors, capacitors, diodes, transistors, etc. It can be quite simple like a combination of resistors to form a voltage divider or a combination of op amps or or kanang kanang operational amplifiers and resistors and diodes to form an amplifier. For example, for example, kaning first picture nga gi show diri. And then ang digital circuit is also a type of a, of an electronic circuit that is predom predominantly built using digital electronic components to process digital signals. So mas complicated ni siya kaysa kani mas complicated ang uh, no digital circuits uh, kay kaning analog circuit kay at low level the digital circuits consist of a combination of transistors, logic gates like and NAND and NOT gate at high and at high level microcontrollers and processors so the second picture be below kanisha is an example of internal structure of the CD4017 IC or integrated circuit and sa makita ninyo it is not cons it is constructed it is constructed the I uh, using AND gates NOR gates inverters flip flops and buffers well anyway Kani siya, dili pa ninyo ni man ma-encounter kani kaning sa digital circuits kay sa third year pa ni sa third year pa ninyo siya ma-discuss. Proceed with our last topic which is the basic components and its functions. First is the resistor. You use the resistor to control the voltages and the currents in your circuit. So ang mga resistor kay naa siya lahi-lahi na type kay lahi-lahi man pud ang iyang band. So, na ay 3 bands, 4 bands, 5 bands, 6 bands, depende. Pero sa akong gihatag na example, or kaning picture shown here, this is a 4 band resistor. So, para makuha na to ang value, or resistor value, na siya equation, or formula nga ginatawag na to og resistor code value. To solve this, uh, atong kuanon, ang color from, determine na to ang value sa color from left to right. So, here, this is what we call the first digit, the second digit, and the multiplier. Si since for band man ta, so multiplier ang tawag. Then lastly, kani, sa pinakakilid, mao na siyang ginatawag na tolerance. So, parehas ani, uh, ang given kay na ay duha ka orange and isa ka red and isa ka gold. So, first digit meaning 3, second digit meaning 3, and then the multiplier meaning uh, kani, red man siya, so pangita ni mo times 2, 10 to the power of 2, which is 100. So, ang mahitabok, itansin na ito ng tulot, 33 times, 33 times 10 to the power of 2, which is equals to 330 ohms. 330 ohms with the 
tolerance of since ang color ani kay Goldman with a tol ah lagi ang tolerance ani kay brown dye rather tolerance is ano kana one percent one percent I'm sorry brown dye ni dili siya gold with a tolerance value of one percent so this is a three three times ten to the power of two which is one hundred thirty three times one hundred so equal siya sa 330 ohms with a tolerance value nga 1%. Mga siyang final. Sorry, sorry dito bagay na mali ko. Next component is the capacitor. You can think of a capacitor as a battery with very low capacity. Where it's commonly used for removing noise or making the supply voltage of a circuit more stable. So, kung maghimo mo og circuit tree sa breadboard nga ga-involve mo og LED lights, then manotice ninyo na naay times nga kuan ka nang ang LED lights kay mag blink 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 ana 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 para mas stable siya magamit mo og kapasitor. Kibali mura siyang stabilizer sa isa ka circuit. Mura gin ana. Then the light emitting diode or what we call LED light a light emitting diode or LED for short is a component that can give light so ang tiil sa LED light na ay taas o na ay gamay so ang, ang taas mo na siyang positive or what we call the anode and katong putot na tiil or what we call the negative maupo na siyang ginatawag na cathode so for the transistor it is a semiconductor device that can use to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. So, it can do two different jobs. It can work as an amplifier or a switch. So, when it works as an amplifier, it takes in a tiny electric current at one end or an input current niya and produces a much bigger electric current or an output, output current niya at the other. In other words, it's a kind of current booster. So, transistor that can also work as switches means na a tiny electric current flowing through one part of a transistor can make a much bigger current flow through another part of it. In other words, the small current switches on the larger one. For the inductor, it's just a coil of wire that opposes sudden changes in current. So, it slows down current surges or spikes by temporarily storing energy in an electromagnetic field and then releasing it back into the circuit. Last but not the least is the integrated circuit or the IC. It is a small chip that can function as an amplifier, oscillator, timer, microprocessor, or even computer memory kaysa sulod sa IC na na siya pwede, na na siya murag ka ng conductor, na na siya transistor, na na siya resistor, na murag na na siya Kana siya tanan, murag na siya sa kanang kaninga picture. Kato tanan nga akong i-discuss gayon na murag na isa siya sa isa ka picture. So maka-function siya sa as amplifier oscillator kani kani. Munang gahi gid ang IC. So I think that's the last. So for the conclusion, from communicating with your loved ones, living across continents to making a hot cup of coffee, electronic gadgets can touch almost every aspect of our lives. However, what makes these electronic gadgets finish seemingly time-consuming tasks in just a few minutes? Tiny electronic circuits are the foundation of all electronic equipment. Thus, reading about the various components of an electronic circuit will help you guys understand their function and significance. So, thank you for listening and enjoy your stay in ECE. Char. Char. The end.